So this morning's uh, devotion, Friday, uh, April 24th, um, there is this um, text, this excerpt from Psalm 116. And um, if you want to download the app, you can find the link on our website, allthingsnew.church. And um, you can also find the Zoom, uh, the button to click to join the Zoom calls weekdays, nine o'clock. And um, my thought was that we could spend some time praying through Psalm 116 verses one through four. And, um, and I, I think it's, it's always important for us as followers of Jesus to um, remind ourselves uh, who God is and what God does. To constantly remind ourselves who God is and what God does. And I think if we're doing our devotional uh, times together, uh, our prayers together, our whatever disciplines they might be, uh, journaling, times of silence, etc. They all in some way or another are reminding us of who God is and what God does. So uh, I'm, I invite you guys to join me in, in prayer as we pray through Psalm 116, 1 through 4, and enter into uh, a time of reminding ourselves who God is and what God does. So the psalmist writes, I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. Take this time to, rem to remember um, how has God heard your voice? The psalmist continues, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. And you can take this moment to thank and thank God for his nearness. The psalmist continues, the cords of death entangle me. The grip of the grave took hold of me. I come to grief and sorrow. Take a moment to remember when have you felt trapped by death? Maybe it's a physical entrapment or emotional entrapment, spiritual captivity, captivity. maybe it's relational. When have you felt trapped by death? Maybe you're feeling that now. Take time to remember that. The psalmist continues, then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Take a moment to thank and thank God for delivering you to freedom. Or if you're feeling trapped now, uh, take a moment to thank God for the hope of deliverance. The psalmist continues, gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. And take a moment to praise, to praise God for his grace, to praise God for his righteousness, to praise God for his compassion. So I think for me, it's, it's, a, it's a good reminder this morning of who God is and what God does, that in just four verses from the Psalms, there's an invitation to remember who God is, to thank God 
for who he is, to remember what God does, to thank God for what God does, and to praise him, to praise him for his grace, for his righteousness, for his compassion. Um, and to start my day, for us to start our day with uh, a, the simple reminders of who God is and what God does. Um, that God is near, that God longs to deliver us to freedom, that he is gracious, he is righteous, and he's full of compassion. Amen. Amen. So uh, our prayer calendar today, uh, Dominique Gilliard leader of our one of the leaders of our denomination uh, reminds us to pray for parents to spend intentional time discipling their kids and modeling how to love our neighbors as ourselves in this season so uh, let's be praying for parents as parents are in uh, many parents are in a uncharted territory with uh, a, a new season of um, <laughs> everything <laughs> so um, let's be praying for them today so have a great day and uh, be reminded of who God is and what God does. Amen.